Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Seven Day Challenge, and today we have I didn't do it. I, I didn't do it. <laughs> this is a Disney Channel series or a Disney XD series. I'm not sure which, uh, but it's from 2014 to 2015. It's 39 episodes. They're all about 26 or so minutes each. Uh, yeah, it's uh, two seasons. Did I say 39 episodes? Yeah. Uh, it's a comedy that uh, stars Olivia Holt and uh, what's his name? Austin North. They, they play fraternal twins uh, who have a catchphrase. So a, a conjoined catchphrase that uh, basically the episode... I watched only one episode, and I I am fearful that every single episode does start with them having to explain something that went wrong, and then just before the theme song starts, they go, I didn't do it. And then at the end, they repeat that phrase for whatever reason. I might guess that that's what it is, but if nothing else, it's... Uh, it, it's the point of the pilot. So, uh, by the way, if you know who, uh, you, you might recognize Olivia Holt from some others other than Disney stuff. Uh, she played Dagger in the Cloak and Dagger show on Freeform for the Marvel heads out there. That is the probably the only Marvel thing I haven't watched yet, and it's not on Disney Plus yet. Why? Was it that bad? I mean, I don't think anybody watched it, but. Should, here's a chance for people to watch it. It's another Marvel thing. Throw it in there. They showed up on Runaways, and Runaways is on Disney+. Plus. That was on Hulu. So it's weird that it's not on Disney+. Plus. It's weird. Olivia Holt and then Austin North. Uh, yeah, but I, I don't know what else is he's been in. Kicking It, I think I saw, was listed in it. But it's basically a story about a bunch of teenagers um, just getting in trouble and wacky, slapsticky antics abound and, and they gotta figure their way out of it it's it's all very extreme and it it's probably laugh tracked <laughs> i mean it's a consistent level of laughter throughout uh i, I, I doubt i doubt it's a studio audience if there is i don't know they got the, all the woos and yay and all the standard reactions to either funny things or romantic things when a boy likes a pretty girl and a girl likes a pretty boy and cheers when people make the right choices and booze when people do the wrong thing so yeah all this stuff is there it's <laughs> it's it's not made for me it's honestly not made for me so i can't really say i recommend it it's not my my thing. Uh, this seems like a training course, though, for young uh, physical comedy actors. And just basically, okay, you want to be part of the Disney thing, we're going to put you on a show, and you're going to do uh, zingers and one-liners, and explain to your parents, uh, <laughs> by the way, that you're freshmen in high school, but you look like college juniors. Okay, Olivia Holt looks... Like she could be in high school still, but Austin North, he he seriously looks like he's he's pretty much done with college. I don't know, it's just me, or maybe it's the other guy. He's just super tall, and she's not. They're fraternal twins, so the fraternal explains that they're not exactly identical. So beyond gender, so yeah, it's it's a uh, it's I'm trying to think. If there's other people in here. Uh, Peyton Clark, Piper Curta, Sarah Gilman, uh, they play their friends, uh, and again, they get into just, they're the weird nerdy sidekick, there's the self-obsessed boy crazy, uh, best friend, there's the kind of the, the dumb guy best friend too, I guess, I, I, he, he, that's why he presented himself in the first episode, again, only one episode, Maybe he evolves over time. Maybe he's not dumb. But they're basically <laughs> middle, like, 20-something dudes pretending to be freshman kids uh, and being uh, bullied or dismissed by the cooler senior kids who they look older than. I don't know. It's, either way, it's, uh, this seems like, you know, it's, it's, just, it's a Disney stepping stone, hopefully, to something bigger. Hey, and Olivia Holt went on being a Marvel character, so, hey. Why not? Uh, but yeah, I, I just 
I can't say that this is like the best show ever. Uh, it, it didn't make me laugh at, at once, sadly. And it had, uh, what was it? There's an old lady, uh, character in this who was supposed to be their babysitter. And she's like 91. That woman wasn't 91. I'm sorry. Uh, and they got a lot of humor after, out of weekend and birdieing her. Like she kept, they kept thinking she's dead. Like they, their parents go away and they ignore their parents' instructions for the weekend and decide to have parties. They're each of their own parties at the same time because they're twins or something. And they, but they didn't want to have each other's party. And so they had colliding parties. And then the babysitter shows up, even though they're way too old to have babysitters. Um, and then she has this chronic, uh, like, narc narcolepsy, where she just falls asleep and to the point of looking like she's dead, apparently, or they're just really bad at telling whether somebody's breathing or not. And they keep trying to move the body, and then it keeps, it falls downstairs and falls off of a, a landing into laundry constantly. Like, at least twice she fell into a pile of laundry, and then she fell off a, out of a window into a hot tub, and somehow this 91-year-old body did not shatter and it's comedy. And it's just because, and every time she'd wake up at convenient moments, but every other time, she's basically just a corpse that they keep dropping. And, okay, that could have been funny, but again, uh, their only reaction to this was, I didn't do it, and that's the name of the show. I'm feeling this, as a concept, it's very thin, uh, but it's basically them making a lot of decisions from looking at the descriptions of other episodes in this. It's them making a lot of decisions that they instantly regret or eventually regret and then have to work their way out of and explaining to their parents or something or to each other. Or, there's just, I mean, there's an undercurrent of, you know, sharing loyalty, you know, to each other, even though they're sick of each other. They're siblings and they spend all their time together. They share birthdays together. There's nothing that's truly their own. And uh, yet, uh, you know, when the chips are down, even though brother wants to impress the cool senior dude so that he can be cool and the sister wants to impress the cool senior dude because she has the hots for him when the cool senior dude ends up being a dork or not a dork a jerk just an absolute jerk well they stand up for each other or she stands up for him at least in this one and who knows if that guy will recur i imagine who knows but it's probably all that learning a lesson treating each other with respect but also you know brother sister things as you would expect on Disney Channel. So yeah, it's it ran its course, I think. Thirty nine episodes pretty much took that concept the direction it needed to go. And hopefully it will lead to greater things for everybody in the cast. So including mom and dad. I think mom and dad have been doing done a lot of stuff. They were character actors who've done stuff a lot, I think. Um I recognize them. Either way, there's there's better stuff on Disney Plus, but you know, if this is your thing, go for it, check it out. But don't tell them I sent you. Let's pick tomorrow's episode. Four hundred ninety-four. Four ninety-four. Is that in the thes? I think so. Come on, come on. <clears throat> oh wow, another short. Uh, we got one starring Donald Duck. This one's called The New Neighbor. The New Neighbor starring Donald Duck on the next Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow with that.